now an even tougher test for the Fortis body armour. We're going to fire an AK-47 rifle at it at short range. And to make the test even more demanding, the AK-47, a weapon favoured by terrorists across the world, has been loaded with exceptionally powerful Chinese armour-piercing incendiary bullets. To guard against this extra threat, a ceramic plate is inserted into the armour. Damage this is done. Right. Should we pull her out, see what she's penetrated? Are you okay there? Oh, well, I mean, no problem. That's amazing. Three rounds in such a tight grouping. Stop the four for this. It's, it's even four. stopped the one that's clipped on the edge. It's even stopped that one. Now it's that has shot me. It's gone kind of clipped on the edge here. You feel the actual weight of that vest as well. Once again, the Fortis body armour has stood up to the test. The secret is our use of layer after layer of a specially manufactured, tough composite sheet material. The bullets just can't get through. The Fortis body armour is also designed to protect against a wide range of stab injuries. And it's effective, as you can see. Next, a machete. And finally, a crossbow bolt. We've used considerable force, but all the blows have failed to penetrate. This was just a test, but in the real world, the vest could mean the difference between life and death. Most body armour becomes ineffective as soon as it's exposed to water, but not the Fortis armour. It's completely waterproof and is immune to the effects of sea or river water, rainfall, humidity and perspiration. Let's see now how our vest compares with the standard body armour after they're both given the same thorough soaking. This is the most extreme test we can devise. And to make it even more demanding, we've cut gashes in the covers of both of them, deliberately to let in water, which will come out on top. An Uzi submachine gun is now fired at both vests at short range. Okay, so we're going to have two shots into the vest. Straight away, two perforations. Okay, now if we have a look at the other vest. Remember, this one, this other vest has had exactly the same treatment. It's been through exactly the same mishandling. Two, exactly the same two shots, same ammunition. Nothing. Nothing. None of the 9mm bullets we've just fired penetrated the Fortis body armour despite the fact it was wringing wet. The same can't be said for the conventional vest. Had it remained perfectly dry in its waterproof cover, the Uzi's rounds probably wouldn't have passed through. But the gash we cut ensured it was soaked, seriously compromising its performance. Through some small hole or tear in the carrier, it's actually soaked through to the material at the back and made it uh, fail the actual test. So the person wearing this vest would have been dead. Which one would you want to be wearing when it comes to the crunch? The level of performance compared to conventional armour is literally 500% better. The amount of rounds being fired into both samples was way in excess of what you would expect any sample to be able to resist and the performance of the Kempton sample, as can be clearly seen, is quite phenomenal compared to the performance seen from the conventional sample. But what are the end users, the soldiers, police and security personnel, whose lives in the end could depend on having the best possible equipment? Our volunteers, who are in fact members of the UK Special Forces, don't have any doubts. You can move in it, yeah, it's very lightweight, climb walls, run with it and do the work to it, and it offers very good protection. One thing you don't get to test is a flat jacket, because you don't want to. I don't want to be at the other end of a bullet, find out that it doesn't work. This kit does work. I've seen it from my own eyes and, you know, I'm amazed.